Hi, it's Candy, and welcome to the Art of Planning, where we plan pretty, on purpose, and powerful. And oh, I'm going to share what I hope is some on purpose and powerful information right now. So if you can see stuff in the corners and at top and at the bottom, please be okay with that because a lot of information and a lot of things I'm going to share. Now, I did share earlier about the way I am organizing and storing my stickers and we're gonna I'm gonna expound on that a little bit um, I, I hope I never and it really is a challenge but I hope I never just give you initial information and then go on with it without touching base with you again and letting you know if it's working how I think it's working if I've adjusted if I've changed whatever so I just kind of wanted to bring you an update on how my storage is working for my stickers and I will tell you I absolutely love it and these are the reasons why now also I want to show you and tell you exactly what I am using so if any of you started to do it and you're you didn't exactly get the instructions or you don't know what to use or blah 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 you can go over that again and if any of you are questioning why I'm using what I'm using you can understand it more. I am using from Staples. They are five and a half by eight and a half inch binders, and I think they're called either the better or the best binders because they really are. They are sturdier than most anything else you are going to find. As a matter of fact, my mom started out with something else, and she bought one of something else, and then she said, Nope, I'm going to use that for. I don't know what she's going to retire it to something else but she's going to go back to getting this for her stickers they are just sturdy and they will hold and i mean they're just good binders they are um and then i okay let me bring this in i tried to kind of work from the bottom up i use cardstock and I use, this is a 65 pound weight. I mean, you get whatever weight you want. Or I actually had this in my supplies. So I used whatever I had. 65 pound weight, eight and a half by 11 and a half, so that when it's cut in the middle, you will have the size that will fit in a five and a half by eight and a half inch sleeve. And I do put a piece of cardboard in there because that will then make it sturdier. I have all sorts of them to show you and not one at my fingertips. Here we go. Like this. Okay, otherwise you're going to be filling, you're going to be putting stickers in a little floppy old thing like this. Now, if that's how you want to do it, go ahead and see if it works for you. It'll save you a step, um, but I just knew that I wanted this kind of an insert in here for lots of different reasons that's what works best for me I think that will work better for you but you know what just try it out and see that's what it's all about so I start out with this which is a sheet protector clear five and a half by eight and a half it's a pack of 25 now from one sheet you're going to be able to do sticker storage in the front and sticker storage on the back of that okay Lest we have things jumping off the table over here. I'm going to try to stay kind of organized. Okay, so those then go in here. And again, you can put things in the front. And then you can put something on the back. Okay? And then I have mine organized. We'll go through that in just a little bit. Um, actually, what I want to do is show you pretty much how I'm going to go in and organize Again, I'm going to insert things from the show and tell stickers that I just, that video that I just uploaded. So I want to show you now how I integrate. If you haven't watched the original video about my system, you can go back and watch that. But I'm going to show you now how to integrate it. And that is a way of showing you why I love it so much. It is so easy to integrate. It's so easy to then work your stickers and see how you want to use them and what's going to work best and all of that. Okay? 
So let's switch to. Now, what I decided was I wanted to do greens for all of my stickers. I didn't want 42 different colors of binders that would just confuse me more. I need less confusion, not more. My stickers are going to be, for the most part, in these green binders. I just put something cute there in the front. That's all, okay? So what I'm going to go over here and do right now is I'm going to bring in this binder because, see, these even have like little gripper things right here. That will let them stand up on a shelf much better. They're not going to be sliding around. See? It's, it's a really good binder. They have thought it out very well. Now we're going over this to this binder because this is the binder where I have stickers from A Heartfelt Life. I already have those stickers in here. And within that, I have these organized by style right now. These are the girly pumpkin ones. I've used some of those for one layout. I will use them again. But then I have them organized still by color. We move into different colors. Okay. Now, I have a blank one. This is here, so during this video, I can show you that here are, this is a new set of sheet, a new set of stickers that I got. And they go with this color combination. The back of this just happened to be empty. This is where I want to put this. So it's going to go right in there. Okay, new sticker slips right into the color combo I want it to go in. That's where it's going to live its life now until I use it. Okay, here are other stickers I've got. And now, these are two of the new stickers I showed in the show and tell video I just filmed. So they're going to go into a new, into a brand new little sheet protector, back to back. And because this is where they fit in the scheme of things, we're going to pop this open. We're going to put it right in here. Okay? because that's the colors that it's going to go with. So, within a group, I then organize by colors. And then I can just flip right through here. And you know what? If it's not in the exact place where it's color, it is so seeable pretty quickly. So, we keep flipping through. And now we're going to go over here. Okay. This is what you saw in the haul. I don't like that word. It's going to be show and tell for me, guys. And I'm not, I don't intend to cause a rep, an, a rep roar, an uproar about that. I just want to call it show and tell. Because, okay, now this is the to do list in autumnal colors. Okay, here are my to do lists for Maria. Okay, I have a lot of them, and I like them all to be right here together. So, easy fix right here. I'm going to jump this little guy over here. Because in front of here are some miscellaneous things. There's nothing on the back here. So we're going to move this little sticker guy right here. We're going to stick this to-do one in front here. And I'll have all my to-do guys together just right there to grab. Okay? So it's really easy. It's not time consuming. I don't think you have to be LCDC to to feel like this is very organized and works. Um, I just, nothing else was working for me. So this works wonderfully well. Here are the new hydrate stickers. There are two sheets of black right here. Yeah, I could put a little sticky thing on it with the number two here to remind me. I've got purple and green there. I'm going to stick them both in the same one for right now. And they're going to go right here after my to-dos. Now, I also am seriously considering and think I am going to put my hydrate things all together because I have several of them and I think I want them located all together. Coffee cups, lipsticks. I have two different color sets of those little circular sticker sets. And before I start another set of stickers, I'm going to put these in here because they're kind of 
they're kind of miscellaneous and don't really have to belong with any other set. So they're going to go in here behind everything else from the Heartfelt Life. And that's how those are organized. So, they're now organized. They're where they're supposed to be. I can find them easily. And my sticker organization is in two binders right here. So, that's why that works so well for me. And then, I have some miscellaneous things in here. It's ready for some more stickers. So, actually, what I am going to do is I was going to show you. I put the things from Planner Glam Girl, which were all new stickers. I placed them back to back, set them together. And I actually will go put them in here before the truly miscellaneous things start. They'll have their own little section. Put them in here. They're good to go. And we're done with that. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to bring this one back in. And I'm going to show you something on it. Now, I have another group of stickers that I had not shown you. And I also have several things previously from that shop. I love the shop. I love the girl that does it. I feel like friends with everybody, even though I've, I don't know anybody. But, gosh, everybody is so wonderful and so nice. Okay, here are stickers from Let's Plan It. So sweet. And she's from Canada. Golly, I get your things fast, Britt. Okay, cute little planners. I love those. These are little gold half boxes. I don't know if you can tell. And I have no idea if my camera will focus on if I brought it in. Because this is just, it's a Canon Rebel T3, I think. So it's just meant for stills. But these also have little feathers, um, little Aztec tribal um, type designs in them. I love these. Love them, love them. So these are all new. And they are all going to go with all of the other Let's Planet stickers. So, all we'll do is go over here to this. And you know what I think I may even do? Because they're kind of, oh, they're kind of short, but they won't. I thought I could get two on one side. So, we're going back to back. We'll get another page and go back to back. Now, if it mattered, and in these designs it doesn't, but if it would matter, I would make sure to put them where the design face like this. Because that's a right side up. Does that make sense? Well, because this is like this, okay? This is the top. And the top would face towards the towards where this would clip in. And what I'm going to do is let's see where we are on that. I think I may just I've got plenty of paint protectors. I'm just gonna slip it in here. Okay. So there we are. I have all of her new things in there with the other ones. And they're all the, the metallics, kind of the, the gold, the rose gold, and almost the copperish. So I have all of the things from Let's Plan It together. And they're all now up and organized also, which I absolutely love. So that's done. They're all put up, they're all done, and we're good to go. Okay, and now these, which I actually, I told you, and I actually thought that I had other things that they went with. 
if I did, they're not organized and they aren't where they should be. So I actually don't. But I think very easily a layout could be done with these and with washi tape. Gold washi. And there's white and gold dots. There are black ones. There's black hearts. I really think that you could do something, pull in some hot pink. So unless I find what I was thinking, and I did find some solid black too. I think it was in this one. But I'm pretty sure I was going to use this with something else because it's got that tribal feel to it. So I'm not sure if I'd made something up in my head or didn't follow through with something or whatever. But I did not find what I thought I had waiting on those stickers. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll put those up and we will put them in the sticker book and be ready for whenever I'm ready to do something with those. Now, the other thing that I have is I have this binder and I have used it a lot because I'm doing, I've been doing more of a scrapbooking type project. So, I've been in this book a lot. This is the book that's got my phrases in them. So this is where I go if I just want to do that. I keep them all organized here. I go to this. This is where I work from. And for a little while, this is also where I will put any overflow from the green folders because they are getting kind of full. So what I'll probably do is I'm probably going to go put these in here and I'm probably going to put some miscellaneous things in here also because... It can handle some miscellaneous things right now. And I am getting pretty full on the green ones. But that is how I organize. That's why I love this so much. I can pretty much go exactly where I want to at any time and put my hands on what I want. When I store these, they literally store just like this. On a table beside my desk and there are my stickers I'm it is that easy so yeah I absolutely love my sticker storage if any of you have any questions that I haven't answered on putting it together or working with it while you're building your sticker collection or um, anything about using this system be sure to ask me in the comments I will provide you any information that I can I will help in any way that I can and you know please that I always appreciate you spending your time with me I know that's one thing you can never get back so I do appreciate the time you spent with me um, be sure and like if you do be sure and subscribe I will I appreciate that so much I love spending time with you and I will see you soon thanks bye